Hi guys, Rugal Gal here. I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks. I just wanted to give you an update of what's been going on with me and why I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks. Um, I've been busy with family stuff and also for the last, well it'll be two weeks as of this, like Sunday, I've been having problems with my left arm. I woke up on a Sunday, not this past Sunday, the one before it, with unable to move it very much. And I thought it was because I laid in bed too long. Um, because I was really tired and I, I stayed in bed for quite a few hours. But this happened to me in 2016, if you're familiar with my channel and my backstory. Um, which led to me in 2016 to wait, to go through a bunch of processes of MRIs, trying to, realizing I was completely claustrophobic, which I'd never had been in before in my life. Having an arthrogram, having cortisone shots. Um, and it led me into a two-year process of finally getting a, a torn rotator cuff realizing that I had it the doctor realized he didn't realize it until he actually operated on me um he kept saying you don't have one and then it finally um he was just gonna do a mom for procedure was just take off my bone spur shave down your clavicle collarbone take out my bursa sac cut my deltoid muscle cut your bicep pull them back up anchor them but when he was in there I had a 85 percent full thickness almost full thickness or full thickness um rotator cuff tear so, um, instantly, you might kind of forget what pain you're in, but when it comes back in another area, I instantly like, this is exactly the same pain. But, um, so I waited a while because I thought, well, maybe it's just, you know, it'll wear off and maybe it'll get better. Maybe I've just strained it or something. But it didn't. So today, I went to, um, yesterday I went for a doctor's appointment. I actually saw a nurse practitioner. Um, it, it's better today. I have more movement in it. Before, I couldn't even, but I still can't. I can raise it that high, but before I couldn't even raise it like this. And there's still some movements I can't do, and I'm really, like, anxious about doing it. Because I couldn't drive. I couldn't. Um, it was hard for me to dress. My mom was helping me dress. I couldn't open a door. You know, anything. I couldn't carry anything in that arm. It's better now because I've rested it and put lots of ice on it. I had some Toradol I was taking, which is an anti-inflammatory pill. And then some Aleve. But anyway, I went yesterday. I had a, I had a x-ray a day. I should get that back in within a day or so. But then now insurances have changed. And instead of letting you go immediately and get an MRI if I need it. Something shows up in the x-ray. I have to go to physical therapy first. And like prove that there's something messed up in there. So I'll have to go. They schedule me for some physical therapy. Which is like fine. Do it. Because you're going to realize I don't have much you know, motion in there. Um, hopefully on the x-ray it shows up what's going on. Maybe a bone spur. Maybe something. Maybe it was just inflammation. I'm hoping that. I hope I don't have a torn rotator cuff. Usually, have to show up on an MRI. So anyway, that's what's been going on with me and with family stuff and just you know um, my natural insomnia and stuff. Sorry, I haven't posted a video in a while, but um, my arm feels so much better today. But I'm still antsy about doing anything. But anyway, I had to go to the next town over to get the X-ray. Um, so while we're over there, you know, you never be in too much pain or too much not to go by Goodwill and look for jewelry jars. Ha! <laughs> because guess what? I found two. Look, I found this one. I'm using my arm that's not messed up. And I found this one in a vase. Guess how much I paid for them, guys. Look at that. $10. Bulk jewelry in vase. $10. For this one, they always seem to put them in these vases. $10. Too bad that yellow wasn't their color of the day. Red was. Um, looks like I got some good things in there. Nice things, you know. Some craft items, too. And I got some watches. By the way, I have a lot of watches, if anybody's interested in watches for parts or anything, let me know. I also have some vintage, um, Bulova watches I need to sell. So I haven't been really doing anything with my $3 group and things like that, just because I've been so tired and this going on, so I'm sorry. I'll get back to, I haven't been doing much business is what I'm saying as far as, uh, the jewelry stuff. So... I got that. I got some other jewelry the other day. I bought this from Mike from um, his jewelry is called I Like Jewelry. Oh, I like jewelry, right? Um, he had these Russian brooches. They're wooden and they're hand painted. Oh, I love Russian brooches. I've had some before and I've actually sold them. Sold the ones I had instead of keeping them. I really like the one I bought from him. So thank you, Mike. This is really nice. Um, go over and look at his. I'll put his link down below to his jewelry channel. I'll put his link down below to his Facebook group. He sells some awesome things. And then he was so nice. He sent me a free gift. And this is um, 
AJC brooch, and he had it for sale, and I didn't get it, but he sent it to me for free. Isn't that awesome? It reminds me of, um, what, Art Deco? Uh, this one I'm keeping for myself. I'll probably keep this one, too, for myself. I just really like it once I give it away as a gift. Um, some other things that I personally bought is this, and I looked it up. I thought it had the look of Renoir. Is it Renoir? Um, it's a certain thing. I'll put it on the video. Um, it's copper, I'm sure. It's not marked, though, but I've seen a similar one. They thought it was the same company. I had some of their um, earrings, and um, this is selling on eBay for about $15. I'd sell it for about seven. I've got some um, Premier Design scatter pins. They're love scatter pins, and they were on this Premier Design card. But before I bought them, I made sure to take them off, and they hadn't just been stuck on this card, because I think this card is more for earrings and a necklace set, but they are marked Premier Design on the back of them. I also got this little uh, brooch, and it's in um, a foreign language, so it was Russian. It's actually in uh, Ukrainian, and I did a translate on it. Um, and it's it's the, con the Ukrainian Conservation Department, like ours would be like Missouri Conservationist or your state conservationist is the Ukrainian Conservation Department. I'm not sure. Found some other ones, but not this one exactly. It has a C clasp on the back of it and some kind of symbol that I don't recognize. Um, I've got several uh, scarf uh, clips, if anybody's interested in those. Just uh, let me know. Sorry, like I said, I haven't been around. Um, but stuff's been going on. And I will, I'm not going to open these jewelry jars because I've got to sell a lot of jewelry and, and get some space going. So you can leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me sell uh, some pop-up videos on here. What would you prefer? Individual things sold? Like on a video about all earrings or like bags of jewelry for like five, ten bucks. Good wearable. Just let me know. And I will talk to you later. Thanks guys. Um, look for that, those links down below. And uh, go check Mike out. Really nice guy. And he lives right here in my home state too. Alright guys. And now tonight I finally got me some peanut brittle. Yummy. Been by, I love the peanut brittle Dollar Tree. But they're out of it. And they don't order anymore because I don't have it for this time of year. So anyway you guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Share the videos. And I'll talk to you soon.